Welcome everyone to um, another Minecraft video. Today what we'll be doing is uh, setting out in one pretty large project compared to, uh, compared to... One second. Is this too loud? It is too loud. Um, so we'll be setting out on a pretty large project. We'll be uh, basically doing a complete overhaul of my farm. So as you can see, um, currently my farm is um, kind of a mess. It was good for when I first started with only like two chickens and two cows. Um, but obviously now it's not really working out well. Zombie farm is doing great. Uh, not zombie farm, rather iron farm is doing great. Do you really want to be doing this? Wait, it's a cat. What the hell? Why is it a cat? It's a cat. It's... Okay. Obviously we need to tame that right now. It's a cat. Unfortunately my previous cat... Um, fell into some lava I don't know how oh, I do know how um, but uh, yeah it might have also been that lava in here okay it's a cat oh my god okay one second I'm lagging loads I, like it might be because I am kind of editing a video in the background but like shh. come on kitty kitty hey kitty 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 hey kitty okay come on kitty want some chicken want some fish uh -huh. You fool, you cannot run for uh, I got you. Okay. So, good job. We started off this episode with success, so thank you for watching. That's all I need to do. And uh, goodbye. Okay. Right, so we're going to do a farm. Now, um, obviously, this will be fairly large undertaking. I hope to redo the whole sheep system and the whole um, chicken system. Chicken system, as you can see, it's, um, it's not really working out. There are loads of chickens there everywhere. And I want some kind of way to be able to spawn them in a confined space. And uh, essentially, kind of, uh, I have an idea in mind, which I'll show you later. Sheep farm. I haven't really used sheep at all. But I want to get like an automatic sharing thing with dyes. So as you can see, well, not yet. Um, I am still lagging. I'll obviously sort out. Oh, hey. It's obviously, there's a zombie pigment. I'll try and sort out the lag for when I continue recording. But I've got everything all dye here, apart from the brown dye. Um, I can't get the brown dye because I have not found a jungle yet. I've explored for ages, couldn't find a jungle. Uh, this is not for you. Oh, okay. No, no. Just leave my door on please. So, yeah. Um, I'll uh, uh, see you when I actually get... Oh, sorry, see you when I actually get something good. Okay. So I'm kind of now ready, I just, to collect, uh, I just had to collect a few resources, but now I'm more or less ready to um, build or upgrade my farm. So the first part is of course making the chicken farm, and in order to do that I actually need to clear some space because I don't want to make the farm somewhere else, I just want to keep it, you know, actually, um, I don't know, I'm not too sure exactly, but I would like the space anyway, so unfortunately that means the chickens must go. Now, I do want to actually count how many chickens I had overall in here, so uh, I'm going to clear up some inventory space you know, just see how many sacks of chicken I get, so, right, let's get the, get the store thing going, it's actually really satisfying because they are incredibly, incredibly loud, um, as you can imagine, it's so amazing, you just, uh, you know, hearing the, anyway, Look at how much experience I'm getting. Huge, huge amounts. Okay. Bye. Intensely, intensely satisfying. Okay. I think my yeah, my volume is really high. Okay, so that is done. We're up to level 25 from killing chicken. And chickens don't really give you that much experience. So, you know, that's why oh. He thought he can survive. Such a fool. Okay. So as you can see, I collected a huge amount of eggs. Don't worry. Uh, what I'm going to do now, actually, is going to put away some of this stuff. So the principle for my chicken farm is quite simple. Um, essentially, what I'm going to be doing is uh, having an area where the chickens spawn in. Uh, that's basically just where I'm going to put in... Uh, this is my... Okay, so this is my redstone chest. Uh, so essentially, there's an area where I'm going to put three dispensers. We're going to then spawn loads of chickens. And what's going to happen is, those chickens um, are going to be in one set space. And they're going to have um, a hopper. 
and the hobbit's going to collect the eggs, like the chicken nay, and then uh, the eggs get cycled into the dispensers, and so on and so forth. So essentially what we have is um, infinitely running chicken egg dispenser thingy majiggy, which is quite cool as you can imagine, because that means I can uh, have huge amounts of chickens. Now, of course, the problem is also, well, not the problem, but the thing is I also want to have a uh, an experience farm. So essentially what it is is basically an area where I can do loads of killing and uh, what do I need to put back? Oh yeah, eggs. Where? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so essentially an area where I can just start slaughtering chickens just for some experience because um, I am building up on my experience. You can see I have a really nice sword and a really nice pickaxe, um, which are getting on a bit. I need to repair them soon. Um, so I'm going to have a system where I push using a piston chickens into another area, which can be like my collecting area. There will also be loads of hoppers there as well, um, just to collect. Wow, I might. Okay, that's a lot of chicken by the way, look at this. Um, so I'm going to put another area where with hoppers, so I can collect... So I'm going to seal my house. So I can collect um, eggs, and then that area will be separated from my main spawning area. And so I can kill chicken at will, and I know that there will be another area... Let me just move my headphones a bit. Another area where the chickens are safe from me killing them, and they're constantly being spawned in. So that is the general principle behind it, and I think it's quite cool. So uh, I'll rejoin you when I start. Okay, okay. so um, after a long, long time, I kind of nearly have my chicken farm complete. Not quite there yet. So as you can see, I have loads of resources, but that's just because um, I still needed a few things before I can get my chicken farm going. So let me just clear a few stuff away, and then I will show you how it looks. So let's just put this, this, this. Actually, no, I'll probably need this, 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 and uh, no, I'll keep that. And I need this. And I need two chests. Now, the two chests will become apparent soon. So, chicken farm. Originally, it was meant to be out on the surface, but nah, I don't really like it too much. So, I'm going to put it in here so you can see I've made myself a little area here. Now, how it goes is, I was going to hope this is connected properly. Okay. Can I do this? Okay. Alright, so basically the main principle is dispenser shoots up chicken, chickens fall down. I need to put glass here. Fall down into here. I'm going to put a bucket of water. Water brings them all the way up to here. And all this time, they'll be uh, laying eggs. Eggs go into the hopper through here. Now, I have this chest here as a temporary storage. What you saw me wanting to do is put a hopper here so it like pulls the stuff out of the chests and pushes it into the dispenser. And they have redstone clock um, really fast, but like I said, I put down that chest because I honestly don't know whether it'll be fast enough with loads and loads of chicken. And now, the flowing water thing just means that there's all, there always will be chickens that can spawn in and also this like somewhat far away so I can uh, um, if need be kill them yes, now the killing process I'm not haven't done properly yet but would probably be some kind of uh, piston system or I just uh, like open up an area here and uh, start uh, slashing and dashing so let me just fix this hopper system now I don't know how it properly works. If I attach this through here and then that. Nope. Okay, okay, one second. Come on. Come on. Oh. That's okay. So that sends that here. Now, what I need it to do is go from this chest to that chest, uh, to that hopper and into the dispenser. Nope, okay. I feel I'm doing something quite simple that shouldn't be this difficult. Come on. What's this? It worked before. Now, how. Hmm. 
there was something you could do which makes it pull does it need to be below the thing ah, it does to be honest that works because then I can just do this this connect that here nope not so who's I don't know how because redstone I believe deactivates the hoppers um no that's all hmm I mean I have no clue why this isn't working that is frustrating will it work if I put in a dispenser here what if I shift click onto here no okay well I need to do yet more research because this is my own design by the way um, I, so I'm quite proud of it I don't want to now have to copy someone else's design because um, of this small thing obviously just doing hoppers will work but I don't want to just do hoppers I want to do it with a chest so then like I said um, there's no overflow everything's in the chest and eggs don't start despawning Okay, you know what? We will do without the chest for now. Which is a shame. But I, you know, don't really have much time to mess around with this now. Hopefully, it connects into onto the dispenser into the dispenser. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, I think when you place down the hoppers, I don't I don't need like the hoppers even before the wars I've always had problems with them just like basically it being luck based whether I actually have it right or not okay will this go into here yes it will good that works and now this will fire cool cool and uh, if we just put this here alright let me get the glass the glass I have loads and loads and it should be in here. Yep. But you don't want glass pane panes. I do for this. Now it's mine blocks across, but let's have it eight. So I need sixteen. Sixteen. Good. Because the glass I will require for my second um uh, phase of the farm, or building the farm, or you know upgrading the farm, and that is maybe as cool or even cooler than this here and also annoyingly my iron farm stopped working again No, oh no that's so annoying and I think I do have glass planes in my chest if I remember correctly yes four okay good good now I don't know yet what I can do to uh, actually you know kill the chicken but I'm sure I'll figure that out so this looks all good I can I think yeah I can access the dispenser which is what I'll be doing now so um, as you can see I have huge it's like a chest with loads of chicken stuff and also actually let me put stuff away so I actually have space to put down the stuff uh, and I also have a whole double chest full of just you know eggs it's all eggs I forgot one key part actually and that means I need to get the glass plane again alright let's break this one nope okay cool Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so far, all good. And it's night time. Now, I don't know where the phantoms will be coming for me, but let's just risk it. See, I've got a new cat. The villagers aren't spawning in iron gooms, but they're spawning in cats. Um, which is interesting, but also very annoying. Is there like a shift click thing? Where, like... That's where there was like a... 
a thing where hmm because I'm pretty sure there was a there was a thing where if you uh okay I'm filling up my inventory but I don't actually think I need all of this because you know I might just put chest down there basically I don't like I can't put in all these eggs at once obviously because um, the hopper doesn't have that large an inventory space so I'm going to put a chest down here I'm going to start filling up the hopper or dispenser uh oh Okay, seems to be working so far. Um, but they do seem to be dying, so that means I suppose I will need to fix that. Because actually, to be honest, as long as they don't die, it's fine because they won't be taking any damage until I come down there with my sword. Yeah. Oh, I think it's just taking they're taking damage from when um I hit them with the eggs. Which is fine, no problem. Yeah, just uh, there was a shift click thing. I'm sure there is. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think they're just taking damage from when I hit them with the eggs. That should be fine. It's nice to know that my chicken farm is actually now starting to work. I still don't have a mechanism for actually. Just look how many raw chicken I have. And also look how many chicken I have like in here. Anyway, I don't have the mechanism for actually. So there's a mechanism for cooking them. I was about cooking them, but I don't know whether I want to do that because I want to get the experience. Um, there's also a mechanism which I haven't put in yet for automatically, you know, sectioning them off and killing them. Basically, that is what I want to do soon. What I might just do is like, I don't know. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. Obviously, this is still a work in progress, but it's a nearly finished work in progress, which is good. Um, the first stage is all complete. Obviously, you need to fill up the chest, etc. But we can work on that. We can work on that. No big deal. Let me sleep so I can actually access the, my other chests with the eggs. Okay. So the creeper's there, but... Uh, I have a cat. Basically, I have a cat who's guarding my area, the front of my house, so no creepers are sticking onto my house and blowing stuff. Because if they blow up stuff like the farm, it's really annoying to fix, but like, it's a farm. If they blow up a house, you know, that is frustrating. Okay. Hi, sheep. Don't worry, you're next. Um, yeah. Sheep farm is going to be kind of. Well, it's going to be obviously a very different mechanism. Um, but it will be quite cool. That's for certain. Obviously now I also need to wait for the chicken to uh, mature so we can start laying eggs. But as soon as they do, they will uh, lay eggs and then the process will repeat. And essentially what will happen is the more chicken there are, the more eggs that there will be. And this will, fast, this will go faster. And soon I will be lagging loads and then I will come in and I will start slaughtering. And because I still would have a fair bit of eggs. Um, I can afford to basically kill all of them. Okay. All right. Let's see. This all looks very good. All good. Uh. Ooh. No. No. Okay. If they fall in here, it's not big, no big deal. Right, we still don't have any adult chicken, but I think they take a fair while to uh, grow up, so that's fine. And since I believe this is done in spawn chunks, um, they should be... Uh, they should be... Uh, should be keeping going all the time. That's the theory behind it anyway. Okay. Right. So what I'll do now is I will quickly sort out my farm, because I've noticed I have loads of wheat that is fully grown. And I also will have... Uh, Pumpkins, yeah, as seen. Nearly all my wheat is complete apart from that one. So there has to be one all the time, there has to be one. And then I will work on uh, 
well, I'll breed my cows because uh, cows, I don't really need them now apart from the steak. Um, and I suppose I will have to, it's kind of hard to do an automatic cow farm just because there isn't like a really efficient way of spawning them in. Like with eggs, chickens. Okay, that's still not growing. Hello, chicken. Okay. But we'll sort out the cow farm anyway soon, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah. I also want to. Where's my carrots? Where's my carrots? Okay, I only got one carrot. That's kind of trash. Okay, so hopefully now I will have 16 more cows. Let's, uh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now I see 16 more cows, but I also need wheat to. This seems to be a zombie. I also need wheat to attract the sheep. So. The sheep, what am I going to do with my sheep farm? Well, I have one chest to show you, which should make it very apparent. I think I already showed you this. I must have shown you, yeah, I think I did. There's a chest with all the dyes in the game, apart from the brown one, because I haven't found a jungle. But of course, when, once I find a jungle, then I'll find it. Oh, whoa, 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 man, whoa. Thank God I had the sound turn up. He's a Look at, look at him, man, he's taking loads of damage, man. Where did he come from? Oh, it doesn't matter, I mean, I'm, I'm, he might be here, actually. Okay. Let me put this away. I suppose not. Wow, well, I actually have loads of pumpkin. <sighs> okay. That's kind of annoying, but never mind. I don't think he did spawn from here. Wait, is there? Oh, no, okay. Alright, so sheep I have all the dyes there and essentially what I'm going to be working on is let me just see how many do I have oh not here uh, one two six another six fifteen so what I'm going to have here essentially along a wall I don't know which wall probably round here I'm going to have 16 compartments and each compartment will have a dye or colored sheep and I'll also have a dispenser which will automatically share them and I'll drop into a hopper, into a chest, all good. So, I will work on that then. Uh, so I died. Um, just wanted to check out why my iron farm isn't working. Um, but, I still don't know why I died as well, I fell. So, that's kind of annoying because the iron farm obviously was probably my biggest project. And now it's not making any iron whatsoever. And... There's no reason why I didn't touch it at all. There's no iron golems up there. There's um, zombies doing well. I mean, he was as he was before when I was getting iron. So, obviously, I'll need to fix that. Which will probably require some tinkering, but I don't know in what yet. But we'll see um, what we're going to do. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, so I'll start making the sheep farm. So like I said, what I want is 15 slots with space for a 16th once I find, uh, find a jungle. And probably the best place to do this is here. Now each slot should be, if you think about it, we have glass, 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 sheep, dispenser, and then we'll have glass. Okay, so we need, if we do some maths around, 32 blocks worth of space. That's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, now nah, let's say twenty-two, well, I don't want to really extend all the way into in there. 20, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 32. Okay, that's good. And of course, I will sort that out all um, off camera. So I'll join you when I have some stuff. Okay, so as you can see, my sheep content units are finally done. So in here, there is water because I messed up the displacer. This Dispenser placing. Um, in the dispenser, shears. Um, there's some glass here. 
glass also of the chest so I can open the chest and you might not be able to see but there's a hopper connected to the chest which I hope works I have tested one yep cool that works and um, as you can probably hear around the back we have um, a redstone clock which probably is too often or like too uh, you know frequent I suppose and it's connected to all the dispensers at the back now all we need to do is lead sheep up into here and dye them I think we're going to dye them first before leading them there so then when we share them we immediately get the colours that we require now let's see so I will of course need my leads I don't have the leads I do have slime though let me put back loads of blocks because I have just have loads and loads of blocks just lying around not doing anything uh, 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 okay put this this there Okay, seeds, right let's get some slime then, slime, okay, Lee. what do I need, ah oh, string not sticks, I thought, it, uh, I thought you needed sticks not string, okay, okay, here we go, two leads as well, and let's grab a die, no I want that, green first I don't know why let's, let's just do it that way or actually now let's just let's organize it so it's actually done by the colors that first appear so we have um, red let's get a red sheep now I'm gonna actually break this corner here because I don't think it's going to be like that many sheep are going to escape if it's the corner can they even move up yeah they can no they can't okay and I don't want too many sheep escaping, so I'm going to put it like here. Okay. The thing is with sheep, I don't really mind if they escape just because they're easy to catch. Um, because there's so few of them. Alright, come on sheep. Alright, so let's go up here. Let's start you off at this end. Come on sheep, come on. Chop, chop. Okay. Now, from what I think, I think that there's enough space for the sheep to actually like get into the block. And I'm not too sure, so I suppose we need to do some experimenting. Right, sheep, can you get into? Well, I mean, he he's. Mm -hmm. If not, then we could have a problem. Into, can you fall into one block? You can't. Oh, you can. Okay, we don't have a problem. We do have a problem because it's night time though. So I'm going to go sleep because I do not want to be attacked by a creeper. Hi. Okay. Sleep time. So yeah, we might have a bit of trouble actually getting the sheep into the sheep containment units. Where are my leads? Okay, also I need food. Okay, now the sheep are all escaping. Which it's you know, like, it's fine, I mean, there's no big deal. Because like I said, just with leads, it makes managing animals so much easier. Come on, sheep. And I don't have that many... And I can always get some more. Okay. Yep. Come on, sheep. Right now, obviously, the trick now is to get them actually inside there. So in order to do that, I might need to... Let me see. Where, where is it? Okay. Round about where the sheep is. So push, 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 push. Ah, uh, I don't want you to go in that one. Can I can just push him to the side a bit. Yes, I can. Come on, come on. Yep, here you go. There we go. It works. It works. Haha. <laughs> and I immediately got the sheep sheared. And you can't escape. So, that works. And let me just put this in here. That is good news. Now, next color. Right, so I'm going to do this and I'm going to return to you once I have finished. Or something okay, else. so I have finally, let me just move this, I have finally um, 
made my sheep farm so I mean the sheep I don't really need them for anything apart from wool I don't really feel like showing them every once in a while so this is automatic it does it automatically although I mean I got one but I don't know I don't know how long it took oh I heard a snip I don't know whether it was uh, something else okay but either way I have the sheep farm it's organized into colors and it's nice you know everything looks good so that means I can get rid of this because really the reason why I didn't really I wanted to clear the farm was because of course efficiency and automatic and how I'll keep that there and how it can be just done automatically and there's no need for me to do anything but also just because you know this this thing here is unsightly I don't want just a huge farm in front of my house uh, I'm not one for oh this looks good this looks bad um, but you know, I've just felt doing this looks much nicer. I mean, I'm, you know what, I'm fully proud of that. So I'm actually really happy with that. Um, and the best thing was the sheep were so easy to move. They're all great, uh, great boys and girls. I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, unlike the villagers, which reminds me, the zombie farm is full on not working, kids. Um, it's not like uh, sometimes it wasn't working for a while and it just go back for some, some reason, but absolutely nothing. Um, which means I'll probably have to fix it. So that means I'll probably have to extend the track a little bit. I think that's that will be my fix. Um, which means I also need to extend the top bit as well because so then. Anyway, long story. Actually, do I need to extend the top bit? I don't think I'll do. Um, but that's just not working, which is annoying because that was like my first farm. Now let's see the chicken farm. Chicken farm. I've kind of had a few problems there. Um, on the good side, um, I now have a way to separate the chickens out for killing. On the bad side, that's because they keep escaping. Um, so as you can see here, I have a whole load of chickens in here, and then I have some out here as well, which is no good, obviously. Um, I do not want that at all. Uh, but as you can hear, the egg, uh, the egg system is working. Um, whenever there is um, an egg, they do get shot out. And uh, the chickens also take no damage from actually being hit with eggs, which is good. Oh, bo bo boy, no. Which is great, um, chickens take no damage. So you know how you just keep getting blasted. Chickens only have, I think, four health points. And usually an egg does like one, or, sorry, a half. Wait, no, a half, a one health points. But as you can see, they're getting blasted. Nothing's happening. So this all works. This is great. So you know what? I'm going to rate this episode full on 10 out of 10. I don't know, like, viewing-wise, but what I've achieved, I've achieved loads and loads. These things weren't really that easy to do, you know? It's, um, like, the red uh, hi kitty, um, the chicken farm took some thinking. The sheep farm didn't really, because, I mean, it was, like, it did take loads of resources, though, like, stacks and stacks of iron, just to make all the hoppers and all the dispensers and all the shears and you'd have thought that shears only take two iron but when you're making 15 of those that's automatically you know half a stack okay but like especially with the iron farm not working that's not good so anyway oh there's what there's another cat see this is the annoying thing the villagers do spawn in cats because um basically cats rather spawn in around villagers and houses and since a house is basically a villager with a bed there are loads of cats around here which is nice like I could do with a cat farm I love cats but not today oh, there's Jeb obviously I didn't put in the, my special sheep uh, Jeb in the farm because I mean that's just sad no I anyway Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy this episode. I don't know how long it is because I did cut loads and loads of it out. But I hope to see you soon. I have, guess what, an even bigger project um, for the next episode, which will be like a huge undertaking. But I need to fix Iron Farm first because there's no way I can do it with the amount of iron I have right now. Which is still like, I don't know, three sacks, but still. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed and hope to see you soon. Let me just get rid of that tree there. As unsightly. Right, come on, come on. Hey. Okay. Oh dear. That is not good. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you for watching and goodbye.